Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your May greeting. We're going to be reading the tarot cards along with the spiritual energies for the month of May for Sagittarius. So I'll get started with the Celtic cross. In the middle, you have the emperor. The crossing energy, you have the six of cups. The foundational energy, you have the nine of wands. Past energies, you have the strength. Crowning energy, you have the fool. And future energy, you have the knight of cups. So let's dig into this and see what the spirit has to say. Okay, the emperor. Um, right away, I feel like this is a judgmental, rigid, inflexible. Oh, de determined is what the spirit is saying. Okay, so you are determined in something and... Okay, and this is what I feel. I feel like you know that you've put the work into something and so you are stubborn. Stubborn. You're actually sticking your stake in the land and you're saying this is how it's going to be and this is what I want done. This is how we're going to do it. Okay. I feel like you're very determined to make something happen and come forth here and you're not turning back and nobody's going to deter you either. Okay. Six of cups. Um, there's something here that is kind of tugging at you. Okay. Even though you're determined to do what you want to do. I feel like there, you know, I'm feeling a very masculine energy for you this month. Okay. I feel that you know your feminine is coming through a little bit in this, okay? That you know that somebody somewhere is not, I feel like they're going to miss you. I feel like they're going to miss you. I feel like this is not the way that they would have chosen, okay? But this is a younger person. This is a younger person who's in the mix for you, okay? Um, but they understand why you're moving forward like you are. I feel like this is going to take time away from them um, and that you'll be either at a greater distance, like maybe you're going back to work at the office and your kids at home or your wife or somebody at home is not agreeing with that um, fully that they kind of wish that you would continue working from home or something like that. This is this is the dynamic I'm feeling. So I don't know if this is a work situation. Maybe it's a relationship that you have where you ha are going away to school or um, moving location and the person is feeling melancholy about this, okay? Um, I, I don't think they have a judgment about what you're doing. I don't think they're judging you for anything. I just feel like it's tugging at your heartstrings and it's tugging at their heartstrings, whatever this move is, whatever, whatever you're deciding to do here, whatever you're determined to do. I think it's tugging at your heartstrings and theirs on both sides. Okay. Okay. Which brings us to the nine of wands. Okay. Well, I feel like you know that you have to do this. You've taken the blindfold off. You've seen what it is. I think you've seen that this is going to benefit you um, either monetarily or it, for your future, giving you skills that you need. And you see that there's no other way. Okay. You've walked through a bunch of different ideas, a bunch of different methods here to try to determine the best way because, now I don't think you've let them know, but 
you you knew that this was going to pull at both of your heartstrings. And so you I feel like you've tried alternatives and you've tried every way that you could try and you decided, no, this is definitely the way I have to go. Okay, I'm forging ahead and forging forward. I'm taking the blindfold off here. I've seen that there's only one way. And so that's the way I'm going to go. Okay, so this is your foundation. This is why you're making the move that you have to make. I feel like you've tried many different things here. Okay. Strength. Now, strength is in your past. Okay, so I feel like you've made the decision, you were strong and courageous in doing it, and now it's pulling at you. Now it's pulling at you, okay? But it's the strength card. And so it says, take heart and have courage, is what it's saying to you. That this is the right decision for all involved, okay? I think this is exactly what you have to do. And yeah. This, um, it's not going to be as bad as you think. That's what this card is saying to me. It's not going to be as bad as you think. In fact, you were right in making the calculation that this is going to be most beneficial for you and others. And this card is saying, yeah, that fear that you have or that tug at the heart that you have, you're closing the mouth. It, that can no longer speak to you. No longer let the fear tug at you. It, this is absolutely not going to be as bad as you thought it might be. This move away or this change that you're deciding upon, it's not going to affect you or the other parties as much as you thought it would. It's going to work out perfectly for you. That's what I feel this is saying. It is going to work out for you, okay? In fact, I think you were um, destined with the infinity sign. And with this angelic being, I think you were destined to make this move. Okay. Okay. So, of course, in the crowning position. So, um, move forward. Keep your eye focused. Keep your eye focused. You don't really know what it's going to bring to you, but I'm telling you right now <laughs> that if you keep moving in the direction that you have determined to move, it's like your heart has been set your mind has been set, and your spirit has been set. Everything is ready to go. Now you just keep your eye on the prize, and everything, the, the stepping stones are going to pop up for you, okay? They're going to literally appear and manifest as you take the step forward. You just have to go. I almost feel like you, um, you don't even have to look around, you just keep your eye up, which means keep your energies high, keep your spirits high, know that what you're doing is the best and don't have any doubts about it and just move forward. And the universe is going to provide for you in this, okay? This, the sun, um, it's giving you warmth and it's giving you energy. It's giving you um, It, this is giving you a very feminine, feminine feeling here. Softness, nurturing. Thank you, spirit. Nurturing. Nurturing. So this path is full. It's fertile. It's a very, very fertile, fertile path for you. Okay. Full. I can see the path. It's it's like you're walking through a garden and a forest. Okay. Very, very um, abundantly fertile for you. Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay. So I think that you return to these people, um, whatever you're moving on from. I think you the, the, it's going to develop this connection with those people that is triumphant, that you come back looking as a great hero. Not only, it's not a monetary hero to them. It is a hero of the heart for the people that um, were tugging at your heartstrings. Okay, this is a hero of the heart. This is, you're coming back I feel like this is making you a softer, 
kinder, um, more accepting. I, I feel like you're moving from the sternness. Oh, I feel like you're moving from this sternness to a smile. I, you're coming back with a smile on your face. This is what I'm seeing the future. And everything is just, it, it's fulfilled. That's the word. That's the word the Spirit's giving me. Fulfilled. I think your cup is full. Your cup is full. That is your future card. Your cup is full. And you're moving from this harsh more stern, more determined. I think you feel like you have to be harsh so that you don't pull the heartstrings, okay? So that you're trying to shut yourself off from the emotional side of it, okay? It's okay. It's okay to feel those emotions because you are going to come back in complete and utter, utter benefit with your emotions uh, more full than ever. Okay, that's what I feel like the Spirit is trying to say to you here. So perfect future um, in this endeavor, whatever you're doing, whatever decision you're making this month, okay? Okay, we're going to pull four more cards from the tarot. Get a little bit deeper understanding. Okay. Okay, so you, uh, you're unnecessarily tying yourself to um, the, the sharpness of the sword, okay? It's once again, it's the emperor energy that I was feeling, this sternness, and it, it's unnecessary. It, it's because you don't know how to deal with the emotion of the things that are going on. Okay, so you feel, you know what, I'm just going to keep those emotions bottled in. I'm not going to recognize what everybody else is feeling. I don't want to know about it because you feel like it's going to be too hard for you to make the decision that you have to make if you're going to pay attention to everybody else's emotions and your emotions. Okay, so what the card is saying is you can communicate with the people around you and you can open up to each other. I don't think you're going to do that until you're removed, until you've made the decision, until you're fully immersed in doing what you think you need to do. I, but then you're going to start communicating with the people. It's almost as if the distance makes the communication easier. That's what I'm feeling. The distance is going to make the communication with these people easier. And then you come back and look how in love you are. You, I just feel, I can just feel the fullness of the love coming off of this card when you return, when you're done doing what you have to do, when you've finished the, the job, when whatever it is. Okay. At some I'm feeling like this is for a lot of you that might be going away to college. Okay. Okay. So um, this is definitely, you're closing yourself off. You're binding up your emotions and you don't want to know what the other people are feeling either. Okay. It's understandable, but it's completely unnecessary. There's a little bit of fear here that's not needed. You'll see, you'll see in the end, you'll see the result. Okay. Tower. <laughs> Tower is always a wonderful card for me. And I'll tell you why it's because I've experienced it many times. And what it is, is enlightenment. That's all it is. And it's enlightenment does this for you. Good. Because you were like this. A little too stiff and rigid. A little too determined. A little too goal oriented. But it does pay off. Because you get the enlightenment that you were looking for. You do get the enlightenment that you were looking for. Okay. And then all... This, everybody falling out of the tower, that's your stiffness, your rigidity, your um, harshness, your stick in the mud. That's what's falling out of the tower. 
It's all of those things that made you too rigid to reach emotionally. That's what's falling out of the tower. So you are going to grow. I'm sorry. You are going to grow tremendously in light. So I think this is spiritually. I think it is mentally both. It's mental and spiritual growth. Whatever you're doing. Lightning's going to strike you. Okay? And it's going to open you wide up. That's what I see. Open you wide up from the middle. That's what it's going to do. And that's a, that's a, that you needed that. You needed that. Okay. Okay. And then it was this. Um, the five of cups. I just feel like I feel, okay, this is what I feel with this card. It's a little non-traditional. Here it is. You know, you know that the support is behind you, okay? You absolutely recognize that support is behind you. What you're thinking is that it's a bunch of um, spilled milk here. You feel like it's devastating some people. It, it's not as bad as you think, okay? They do support you. That feeling is true. And this is why you are putting aside the emotions and it's because you have to. I think everybody has to put aside that emotion, okay? That's what it is. The communication will open up after you cross the river. After you cross the river, you're going to fill these cups with the water that's in the river and carry them with you as you go. And it's going to totally change your dynamic, your energy. I just see you softening up tremendously. Okay. King of Swords. Okay. So this is, again, your future card, which is wonderful. Again, I'm just seeing that you come back as the hero and that what have you learned to do? It's communicate your emotions. We know that the swords are communication, you guys, but this is all about the cups. This is communicating your emotions. This is what you have learned to do. And it has just made you a more deeper and full person and everybody recognizes it. I feel like you come in as the hero. So not only are you totally intellectual, totally um, driven, totally ambitious, but you are coming back with the softness of the ability to communicate your heart. That's what I feel this card represents. This is your future. Total, total victory for you. You come in um, as the hero. As having made the sacrifice that you had to make. And, and it, it all works out in the end, okay? So beautiful, beautiful cards here. Um, I think some of this is just you're closing yourself off because you're afraid of the emotion. You've never really gotten into that emotional side um, for some reason. And it, I think it's all unfounded because in the end, this is going to really crack you wide open. And the emotional fullness that you're going to receive from this is going to be life-changing. Life-changing for you and others. I feel like both. Okay, we're going to take one more card from the Native Heart Healing Oracle. And I just love this deck. This is going to be the key to these changes that you're seeing in May. To maybe some of the emotional doubt or hardship that you're feeling in May. Or not allowing yourself to feel. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this is the Earth Star Chakra. This supposedly is about six inches below your feet in the earth. But this is what it is. Absolutely what it what I'm getting from this. This is the lava within the earth. The volcano, the lava is the mother 
side of things. She is the softer side of things, the one who has emotional control over things. And this is representing your security in the emotional things. So the lava actually represents the birth canal of the volcano and the mother. So I feel like you're leaving, maybe you're leaving your mother. Okay, or somebody who represents a very motherly um, character for you in your life. Okay, it's your point of departure from your mother. I feel like you're you're taking the next step in life. Okay, you're breaking from one almost immature stage, and you're ready to move into adulthood. You're moving from pupil to adult, okay? And it doesn't matter if not the pupil, it's the pupa. It's that stage of the worm that transforms into the butterfly. Okay? So you're leaving the mother, but in that you gain all of those beautiful things that she has, which is the control over the emotions, the ability to feel, the security in those emotions. Not feeling anymore like this is a, a weakness for you to, to feel these things, but a strength, a strength to be able to feel these emotions and handle them appropriately, okay? This is the key. This is the key. I think you think you're seeking one thing on this journey, but what the universe is, at, the gift that the universe is going to give you in this journey is so very tremendous. And it's that emotional mastery is the word I'm hearing. Mastery. Emotional mastery, which fills your life. Absolutely fills your life. Fills your cup full is what it does. Okay. So thank you, Sagittarius. We'll see you in June for your next energy read. Thanks for watching.